topic of this video is testing for symmetry with respect to the x-axis, y-axis, and the origin. Let's look at a couple of graphs. Okay, this is going to be our first graph. And we're going to determine physically its symmetry. All right, so we're first going to start with x-axis. To determine if something is symmetric with respect to the x-axis, spin the picture around the x-axis. This is the x-axis here. So when we remove our graph and we spin it around the x-axis, it would look like this. I'm going to do that again for you. Here's what the graph looks like in the beginning. Notice where the mountain peaks are. The peak is over here on the right. And then when we spin it around the x-axis, this is what it looks like. Now, if your graph looks the same before and after the spin, then that type of symmetry is present. In this case, this graph does not have x-axis symmetry because the picture is different before and after. This is the before. The peak is on the right. This is the after. The peak is on the left. Okay, now we're gonna turn our attention to y-axis. To determine if a graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis, spin it around the y-axis and compare the graphs before and after. So this is the before graph. The peak is on the right. We're going to spin it around the y-axis this time, like this. And when we're done, the peak is on the left. The picture changed. Therefore, there is no y-axis symmetry before, after. All right, our third type of symmetry is origin. You test for origin symmetry with a spin. So the peak is in the upper right and the valley is in the lower left. We're going to spin the graph 180 degrees around the origin, which looks like this. If we get the same picture before and after, then that type of symmetry is present. The peak is on the right and the valley is on the left. It's the same picture before and after. I'll show you again. Before, after, same picture. Therefore, this graph has origin symmetry. Okay, let's look at another graph. Let's look at a circle. Okay, well, it turns out that circles, when centered at the origin, have x, y, and origin symmetry, all three. Let's show that. So this is the before, and when we test for x symmetry and we spin it around the x-axis, this is the after. Same picture, after and before. When we test for y-axis symmetry, we spin it around the y-axis, before, after. Same picture, after, before. And when we spin it around the origin, before, after. Same picture, after, before. Now, in both of the graphs I've shown for you so far, they had origin symmetry. So what does a graph look like if it does not have origin symmetry? Here's an example. A half circle, still centered at the origin. Okay, let's test this for all three types. First, we'll test it for x. Notice that the circle, the half circle, is at the top. When we test for x and we spin it around the x, it moves to the bottom, which is different. So the before and after are different. There is no x-axis symmetry. After, before. Let's test for y. Before, after. Same picture. After, before. There is y-axis symmetry. Let's test for origin symmetry. Before, after. The pictures are different. After, before. 
there is no origin symmetry for this half circle.